Well, I come down to the Manx Legion Hall tonight. Um, a big honour to be here because uh, Norman Moss, who's with me, is celebrating his 90th year yes. and a big party. It definitely. Now, the reason I really want to talk to you today is because uh, Brigadier Norman Butler told me that um, what you did in war was, was absolutely amazing. You really did uh, see action and uh, some very serious things you took part in. And, and the, the D-Day landings? Yes, I was um, involved with uh, Normandy. We were the first ones, first ones in on Normandy Beach. It was uh, 725. We took the uh, East Yorks in, and then um, I did five landings that day, and then I was there for a week. I did five that Didn't that week, yeah. that day, that day. and. Uh, my last, my, my last one, I, um, during one landing, I, I got a hole in the a hole in the craft. There was a hole in the craft. Yeah, well, it, 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 it was one of the bad big as your big as your fish. Yeah. The, now I know you've got a you've got a picture here, which sort of sums up what it was like. Let me just hold up the camera. Right here. Yeah. So, the only, take, thing, take through this. the only thing that's missing off that is the noise. Yeah. Right? If you can just imagine all the shelling that was going on, all these crap, some of these crap were uh, broadside on and couldn't get off, and the weather was a bit rough, like, you know. And, and so, uh, my, if you can just imagine yeah. that lot and the noise, did, did, battleship. Battleships, aircraft above you, and that, and and did you see many people? I mean, did they lose a lot of lives there and then? People died. Well, I didn't. Look, uh, we, we only lost one lad right. that day off off off, yeah. off our ship. So tonight, you're 90 years old. I'm 90 years old, and you've got all these people here tonight to celebrate. All these people are here, that are here tonight are my friends, right? I've made a, an awful lot of friends since I've been on this island. 56 years I've been on the island. I'm not Manx, but I'm proud of being part of Manx. Yeah. Like, you, you know, they tell me you're not true, a true Manx until the day you die. And but um, All these people come here to honour you tonight, which is fantastic, isn't it? It is fantastic, and there's a lot more to come. OK, well, thank right. you very much for now. Um, what I'm going to say very quietly is he doesn't know that there's a very big surprise about to happen. And here is a surprise. It's uh, four members of the Royal Marines Commandos and uh, there is Mr Peters and Mr Bryson, both local lads there who have made the trip back in these uh, terrible conditions. They, they, luckily they got in here last night and uh, well you can see the surprise here and uh, it was uh, well organised this to be a, a total surprise for him tonight and uh, you can see that uh, everyone's really appreciative of making their time to come over to the Isle of Man for this special occasion tonight. Hey guys, uh, what's it like to come back for this event tonight? Well yeah, it's good because uh, obviously one of the Marines, it's 90th birthday, not many people live to 90, especially Marines, so it's nice to uh, come back and sort of surprise them as a nice little gift. What does it mean to you then, I mean, you know, having this sort of marking of the guy who's, it was a D-Day and he's done an awful lot, hasn't he? Oh, it was D-Day he did, yeah, he did, um, how many landings did he do, Marty? Yeah, he did, did five, five landings or yeah. five or six landings and then went off to the Pacific, so to us it's a big thing, to him it's nothing. He looks at us like we're legends, but he's the legend himself doing that.